Hey guys, so today, what's going on? Did my camera move? Okay, so today we are talking about, um, that is my mic, okay? I, I have a mic so you guys can hear me better, hopefully. I don't know what's better, if, it's, if this mic is better or if like a actual boom mic is better, but... Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. That noise is me. Okay. So today we're going to talk about uh, liquid liner. And uh, I use a lot of liquid liner and I have a lot of different kinds of liquid liner. So I felt like I was going to make a video on my favorites, which ones aren't my favorites, and all that stuff. So I keep my liquid liners in this little, like, you know, kitchen thing that I've had, like, forever. And I have all these liquid liners. Oh, so we're going to talk about that right now. So let me pull these out first of all. I pull all of these out. Uh, okay. Yes, this is gonna get kind of messy here. So what what do I look for in a liquid liner? Um, a lot of things, depending on uh, where I'm going or what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, there there are a few different kinds. Um, the tips, the felt tips, the brushes. I like different tips for different things. I, ha I like certain tips for the actual wing and certain tips for the actual lid of the eye. So depending on what kind of tip it has, uh, I use it for different things. At the same time, I also have noticed that there are certain liquid liners that hurt my eyes or that kind of like, for some reason, something that is in it just makes my eyes sting. So I don't like that as well. And there's others that if you wear any kind of like strong pigment on your lid or uh, something glittery, it will just, it won't even run. It won't run across your lid. It's, it's a pain. So let me pull out, let me see here. Hold on. Let me pull out the few because I really need to get rid of some of these that I don't like. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. I don't get it. Okay, these are going in here. I'm not going to talk about these. Uh, these are pencils. Okay, I'm, I narrowed it down. I narrowed it down here to, let's see here. How many do I have here narrowed it down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. 10. Okay, so uh, first, let me talk about one that I really do not like at all. That is the Maybelline Duo by iStudio, whatever, whatever it is. It's this little one that has like, I don't know if you can really tell, and I'm not going to zoom in because I'm just going to talk about it. You can't tell. I'm not going to zoom in, so I'm sorry. But I'm going to tell you what I think. It has like a little ball, and it's like flat on one end and a little ball the other end. And the whole concept of this is that you are supposed to be able to use the flat end and get a thicker line or use the other end and get a thinner line. And the finish is very shiny. I don't mind shiny finishes. I like shiny finishes. Sometimes I like a matte finish. Sometimes I like a shiny finish. But this applicator sucks. It just sucks. It's not good. Um, it's difficult to use. And a lot of the times, if you don't twist the little brush the right way, you're just going to like screw up your eyeliner and it's going to end up all the way up here and you're going to have to start all over again. So I do not recommend this. And whoever says that they like this uh, probably is lying on the video because this is not good. Now Maybelline makes very good um, liquid liners, but this is not good. So don't go out and buy yourself this one. No. Then I'm going to talk about another Maybelline one, which I'm going to talk about the ones. Well, you know what? No, I'm going to talk about the ones that I really dislike. And then I'm going to leave the ones that I like the most for the end. So another one that I'm not crazy about, I'll tell you why, is I'm not going to do this one. This uh, Chella, is it Chella? C-H-E-L-L-A. Uh, liquid liner and this one is in blue and the only reason why I don't like this that much is is just because it doesn't it like when you're gonna put it on your eye it kind of like um what's the word it it just drags it drags along it has a great tip this tip is amazing this one is in blue it's amazing it's really easy to apply but it's just and it has pigmentation, but it's one of those that drags. And if you have a pigment on your eyeball, it just, it won't, the color will not come out. It'll come out on your hand, but it won't come out on your eye. So what is the point? It makes it twice as hard. And so I do not even like to deal with it. I used it like two or three times. And then I was just like, this is too much work. And I don't need to spend this much time on my eyeliner. So this is a no. Then the other ones that I have to talk about are 
the wet and wild ones i do want to try the nyc liquid liner that i've seen a lot of people use and it's a very inexpensive but I, I always forget every time i go to the drugstore i have something on my face that's that's making it itch there it is um so i had these this wet and wild h2o proof and this wet and wild mega liner i do not like this wet and wild mega liner it has no pigment whatsoever it has a little the the brush looks really nice and it is really nice and i'm sure it's very easy to apply i haven't used this in forever i don't even know why i'm holding on to it i got the color purple i don't know why but it's just i don't like it it's not long lasting not that that really matters but it drags on your eye as well it drags and it's just it's difficult to get the pigment out so i don't like this now this other one this wet n wild h2o proof huh i have a love-hate relationship with this if you're a person that wants to go to the pool and you want to wear some liquid liner, this is for you. This is for you. This thing will not come off. It is like tar. Tar on your eyes. And that is one of the reasons why I do not use it. And I haven't used it in probably over a year and a half. The, the, um, the tip, this is kind of far away, but it has a good tip. It's a brush tip. It's nice, it applies easily, but there's a problem. It has great pigmentation. It has a shiny, pretty shiny uh, finish. The problem is that if you screw up your liquid liner, you're done. You're gonna have to redo your whole eye makeup. There's just, there's nothing you can do. And it sticks to your eyelashes. If for some reason you get a little bit of this on your eyelashes, that's it, you're done. You need to take makeup remover. It doesn't even come off with makeup remover. You have to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. And I remember the first time I used this, I did it and then I tried to go over a little bit of some of it got on my eyelashes and I just could not come off. I couldn't put mascara. They stuck together. It was a pain. So if you want to use it, I mean, it's a great product if that's what you really want. But if it were from, if it were, if it were from, what can I say? I can't even talk. I just feel like if you're going to use this, you should use a different liquid liner first or some kind of a powder and outline your line to make sure it's nice and perfect and then you can run over it with this so you know there's no problems, there's no issues, you know, you're not going to run into any little kinks and that way you're good if you're going to the pool and such and if you're going out and it's hot and you're going to festival or someplace where you need your liner to stay there forever and ever and ever and ever and ever not budge. But otherwise... This is too much of a hassle. You come home and you can't barely take it off and it just lingers. I used olive oil, I used coconut oil, I used every kind of oil, makeup remover, makeup wash, everything and I still had a little residue off and I had to pull and tug on my eye. And let's face it, I don't like to pull and tug on my eyes because I don't need wrinkles, I don't need extra like sagging, no. So yeah, that's how I feel about this. Okay, then Another long lap. Okay, which one? Which one? Which one should I do now? Hmm. Well, these that I have left, I I like the one that I like the least is this one, and I'll tell you why. Maybelline New York Master Precise Liner, and a lot of people have seen this. It has a great tip. Uh, it has a great tip. It is a great product. It lines nicely your eyes you can use it for your wing or your eyelid and it gives a great finish my issue with this is the fact that there's something in it that kind of burns my eyes so if you are sensitive and have any kind of allergic reaction to certain products this might not be for you i still use it believe it or not and get over that sensation it kind of goes away after a while but it does it does do something to my eyes i mean i my eyes become red for a few minutes after i use it and then later on it kind of goes away but it just hurts and it'll hurt for a few days after that. So I never really reach for this that much anymore, but it is a drugstore option. It is a great drugstore option. So if you're not really sensitive, you're not really allergic to things, this is actually good. Okay, now my favorite ones are these last ones and I use them for different things. Okay, so I have all of these. Um, my most used, okay, well, how do I put this? First of all, there's the Marbella. I got this in a Ipsy bag a long time ago. The tip is great. I don't use this that often. I'll tell you why. I love this eye eyeliner, this liquid liner. This is amazing and it stays forever. Forever. And, but it's not like Tarte. It's not like the um, Wet n Wild one. It's not like Tarte. It is just a great, great eyeliner and the only reason why I have not used it 
that often is just because it's kind of difficult to take off. And to be honest with you, if I'm not out in the heat and I'm not out for a long, uber long period of time, I really don't need something that does that that is that long lasting to have to like really scrub it off of my eye later on. But if you're one of the, those girls that needs a really long lasting eyeliner, this is the way to go and it has a great price. I don't remember the price off the top of my head right now, but it is a great eyeliner. It's very easy. It has a matte finish on it, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's a great product, but I don't use it that much just because it takes forever to get off. And I'm just not all about that. Okay, then the other one is a more expensive eyeliner, which I don't use that often. And the only reason why I don't use it that often is because of the brush. One thing I will say, this is the uh, Lancome Art Liner. This stuff is great. And the thing that I love the most about this is that if you're allergic and you have any kind of problem with your eyes, this is the eyeliner that you should get. Don't go to the drugstore or don't buy any drugstore eyeliners. Seriously, spend the money and buy this. It is expensive, but it will not hurt your eyes and it will be the gentlest on your eyes. This, that is the truth, hands down. So the tip though, it's nice, but it's very flexible. And the issue I have, look, I'll put it right here on my forehead. The issue I have with it is that I like it to lay it down on my lid and then just do the line, but when it comes to doing the tip, it's not fine enough or, you know, like it's not a brush tip like that because it's a felt tip to do that little slight little wing that is so fine and nice. That's the only reason why I don't, you know, I don't use this for my wing. But sometimes I, what I will do is that I'll just use this first, put it down on my eyelid drag it along and then that's all I'll do with this liner and I'll use a different liner for my wing. This is a great product. The only downside is that it is expensive, but if you have allergies and you have sensitive eyes, seriously, spend the money, do yourself a favor and buy this. This is re really good. Okay, now the ones that I use the most, the most often to be honest with you, are these three. This is, okay. the, this is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. What is this? Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Serum in Ultra Black. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Black is Black, and this is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal what? L'Oreal Super Slim Infallible. Um, the the one that I like the least is the L'Oreal one, not for anything specific, just because I like these two better, to be honest with you. Most of the time, I just use the Physician's Formula and the Revlon, but the only reason why I've been using the L'Oreal a lot is because I bought it a little while ago, and it has more product in here than the Revlon one, so I'm just like leaving the Revlon one for certain days when I want an easier application. So, which one do I use the most? The Physician's Formula. It is my ultimate, my favorite um, liquid liner. It does have a shiny finish, so if you don't like shiny finishes, you won't like this. It has a brush tip. It is super fine. It is amazing. It does not hurt your eyes. It has a great price. Sometimes you can get two for one at the drugstore. And to be honest with you, it's just, it's great for doing the wing, great for, for you know, uh, sliding all over your, your lid. It lasts all day and it is not difficult to take off. What more can you ask for? You can't ask for anything more. So that is why I like it so much. So most of the time, what I'll do is the only reason why I'll use a different liner is because sometimes I, you know, this tip is so thin that I'll want a thicker tip to do a thicker line so I won't have to keep going over it. So what I'll do is that I'll start with the Physician's Formula in the inner corner, do the wing, do the base, and then to make my line thicker, I'll use the Revlon Color Stay. I love, okay, so the Revlon Color Stay, I love the Revlon Color Stay. I don't like it for the wing, or the inside corner just because it's a little bit thick and if you've used it for a while, which I've already have, the tip kind of like twists and it's not as sharp as it was originally if when you buy it. So that's why I don't like it for those purposes, but it lasts all day. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It has a great price and it has a great finish as well. It's not really super shiny and it's not matte. It's like right in between and it's just, it's so easy to apply. You just go whoop, whoop, whoop. It's great. It's one of my favorites and it doesn't hurt my eyes, which is a big deal and it stays forever. This one is really great too, but the only reason why I don't like it that much is because it's, it's a little long. So you can't, if you're going to drag back into your eye, it kind of like bends a little bit in, in a manner that it doesn't, the application isn't as easy as these two combined. So 
I do use it right now because it has more products. So what I'll use this one for is I'll just use it for inner corner lid, but I don't, e I wouldn't even use, I wouldn't even do my wing with this because I feel like the tip on the physician's formula, which is a brush tip instead of a felt tip is so much better for the actual wing. So that's that. Now, if I had to recommend anything, which I've spoken a lot, that's the end of my video. If I had to recommend something like my main ones, you know, let me pull these out here so I can talk to you for a second and tell you. Um, I would say, first of all, first and foremost, you want to try a good one. Go and get the Physician's Formula one. It's my favorite. Um, I have tried the Jessie's Girl. I don't know where I put it. That's why it's not on here, but I have tried the Jessie's Girl one and it's pretty good too. But um, I, don't, I don't know where I put it. I can't even believe I forgot it, but that's, I don't use it that often. Try the Physician's Formula. Okay, if you want a super long wearing width that is a felt tip and that is not a brush, if you're more comfortable for, for, with that, get the Revlon Color Stay. It is amazing, great price. Revlon Color Stay is number two. If you're allergic to anything that you are that you really have sensitive eyes, spend the money, get the L'Oreal, hands down, just get this, spend the money. Um, if you want a really long lasting, but the, the problem is that you need to buy it on the website. You can't find it at a drugstore. That's why I wouldn't recommend. The Marbella is absolutely fabulous. And if you want something that stays all day, night, and you don't care that it's like tar because you are an eyeliner aficionado, then go and get yourself the Wet n Wild H2O proof because I know that in moments when like people who want to get in the pool and wear makeup, which I don't know who, but some people do, and there have been times when I have done that, this will be there and it won't go anywhere. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, until next time, please tell me in the comments what you guys want to see um, next or suggestions, whatever. Okay, until next time, <laughs> bye.